From private islands to million-dollar yachts, discover the lavish ways the wealthiest Americans are putting their money to use in the world of philanthropy. But not all philanthropy is created equal, as we uncover the hidden agendas behind some of the wealthiest Americans' charitable giving. Did you know that Forbes magazine released an annual list of the top American donors? Guess what? In this year, 2023, a whopping 25 people made it to the list. These are not just ordinary people. We're talking about big shots like Mark Zuckerberg and his lovely wife, Priscilla Chan, and Sergey Brin, the co-founder of Google. Now, hold on tight because we're about to give you some jaw-dropping numbers. According to Forbes, these billionaires have donated a staggering $106.7 billion over the course of their lifetimes. Can you even imagine how much money that is? It's more than the GDP of most nations. But as always, there's more to the story than meets the eye. While these donations have undoubtedly done a lot of good, there's a more complicated and troubled tale of American billionaire generosity that needs to be explored. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's dive into the world of billionaire philanthropy. Let's talk Forbes, baby. You know, the list of the biggest owners we just mentioned? Well, they actually order those bad boys from biggest to smallest based on how much money they've donated overall. And get this, they only count the money given directly to charities, not the funds they keep in their foundations. But wait, there's more. You see, some folks made promises they couldn't keep. Bill and Melinda Gates and Warren Buffett stand out like a sore thumb on this list of not so honorable mentions. Now, we're not done yet, folks. You know that little graph we mentioned earlier? Well, it measures the current network of givers and calculates the portion of their net worth they've donated. How, you ask? By adding up all the money they've given to charity, of course. Buffett, with a current net worth of a whopping $100 billion, has donated a jaw-dropping $51 billion over the course of his life. And get this, he still owns a whopping 33% of his company. Moving on to the Gates, who despite their recent divorce, continue to work together in philanthropy. Together, they have combined a net worth of $90.9 billion, and they distributed a whopping $38.4 billion to various charitable causes. They're all about education in the U.S., global, public health, and poverty relief, and we gotta give them props for that. And speaking of giving, have you heard of the Giving Pledge? It's a pledge made by the world's richest people and families to donate the bulk of their money to philanthropic organizations. Buffett and the Gates actually developed it, and it's been signed by some of the big names like Michael Bloomberg, Mackenzie Scott, and even the ex-wife of Jeff Bezos. But wait, there's more. We've got some other philanthropic rock stars, like Denny Sanford, who donated a whopping 53% of his whole wealth, and Chuck Feeney, the pioneer of duty-free shopping, who's given almost all of his wealth away. And let's not forget about George Soros, who may not have signed the giving pledge, but has still donated a whopping 73% of his fortune. And get this, folks, all of these amazing people live right here in the same region. Yep, we're talking about the founder of eBay and his lovely wife, too. But when it comes to the charitable givings, things get a bit more interesting. Jeff Bezos, the richest person on the list, has a net worth of a whopping $117 billion, but has only donated $27 billion, which is merely 2.3% of his lifetime fortune. Ouch. That is not the most flattering statistic for Mr. Bezos. To put it into perspective, the average American gives around 2% of their annual disposable income, which is actually more than what Bezos has given in his entire lifetime. Yikes. But hey, he's not a total Scrooge. He has donated to causes such as fighting against climate change and supporting education. And get this, he even gave Dolly Parton $100 million. However, many experts argue that Bezos' philanthropic track record is a bit foggy. In fact, some speculate that the recent announcement of his plan to donate his entire net worth might have been a response to criticism of his lack of involvement in philanthropy. According to Vox's senior correspondent who focuses on the billionaire, Wizzy Kim, it seems like Jeff's humanitarian track record is almost non-existent. Will his future donations change the perception? Only time will tell. Let me tell you about this cool graph that shows which rich people are giving away their money and which ones are holding on to it tightly. It's like a popularity contest, but for philanthropy. Some people on the list are really generous and give away most of their wealth, while others hold on to it tightly and keep getting richer. But the problem is, even if someone is super generous, the overall trend is still towards a small group of people holding on to most of their wealth. According to the Institute of Policy Studies, this is called top-heavy philanthropy. It means that a few wealthy individuals are responsible for a huge amount of charity contributions, and they get to decide which causes get funded and how they're resolved. And get this, the graph shows that in the past, nonprofit organizations relied on widespread public backing. But now, the majority of philanthropic deductions are made by households earning over $1 million. 
So, a small group of people is deciding which causes get funded. According to the Chronicle of Philanthropy, the top 50 donors are more likely to support cutting-edge issues like health, religion, the environment, and foreign affairs. That's not all. Some of these donors can give away a whopping $500 million or more in one shot. Sometimes these donations can make a big impact on the specific school district or charter school. Even a relatively small amount of money can go a long way. But have you heard of private foundations? They're a popular option for the wealthy. Basically, donors give money, property, or stocks to a foundation for charitable purposes and get a big tax break. However, the foundation is only required to donate 5% of the money to charity each year. So while the donors can save on taxes, the charity may also receive a small trickle of money over time. It's important to know that the money parked in private foundations is not included in the Forbes list. Only the money that the foundations have already donated to charity is counted. We know that they often donate large sums of money to various causes. But did you know that there are other ways they give that don't show up in the Forbes list? One way is through donor-advised funds, which are like savings accounts for charity purposes. They let the donor remain anonymous and provide some serious tax advantages. But the catch is that it's hard to tell if the money is actually being used for good or just to lower the donor's tax bill. These funds have become increasingly popular and hold billions of dollars in total that haven't yet been distributed to charities. So while billionaires may seem generous on paper, there's still a lot of money sitting around that could be put to better use. But let's not forget about the good work that some charities are doing with their enormous endowments. The Gates Foundation, for example, has made huge strides in increasing access to vaccines for young children, resulting in a significant decrease in child mortality rates. However, some people argue that this kind of philanthropy isn't democratic, as it allows a small group of people to set the agenda for public health issues. Have you heard of John Arnold and his wife Laura? They're on a mission to change the way donor-advised funds work. These funds are like secret bank accounts for a charity that lets donors remain anonymous and enjoy significant tax benefits up front. But the problem is some donors hoard the money in these accounts and don't actually donate it to charity. That's where John and Laura come in. They're pushing for laws that would require donors to make donations within 15 years or else they wouldn't qualify for the tax benefits. Some people even think that the 5% annual payout rule should be raised to 10%. It may seem like a small change, but they could have a big impact on how these billionaires give back to society. Of course, it would even be better if we didn't have to rely on the generosity of a few super rich individuals to make a difference. The fact is, our society has such extreme wealth inequality that we need these billionaires to step up and give back. But maybe one day, we'll live in a world where everyone has enough resources to make a positive impact. As we've seen, the ways in which the wealthiest Americans donate their money can be both inspiring and shocking. While some use their wealth for genuine philanthropic endeavors, others may have ulterior motives behind their charitable giving. It's important for us to remain vigilant and critically examine the impact of these donations on society. By doing so, we can work towards a future where philanthropy is truly used to benefit the greater good. With this, we have come to the end. Do let us know in the comment section below. Like this one, subscribe for more content and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and also press the bell icon to get notified about our new videos.